the last two days we've seen a remarkable development. We have seen big tech, we've seen Twitter and Facebook actively interfering in this election in a way that has no precedent in the history of our country. Yesterday, the New York Post broke a story alleging serious corruption of Joe Biden and Hunter Biden concerning Ukraine. The allegations in the New York Post story, if true, indicate that Vice President Biden lied when he said he had never discussed his son's business dealings. That story, once the New York Post broke it, was blocked by Twitter and Facebook. Anyone who attempted to share it was prevented from sharing it on Twitter or Facebook. The New York Post itself, when it attempted to put out its story, was blocked on Twitter and Facebook. The New York Post has the fourth largest circulation of any newspaper in this country. Never before have we seen active censorship of a major press publication with serious allegations of corruption of one of the two candidates for president. That was last night. This morning, the story escalated and got even worse. The New York Post broke a second story of a series of emails that indicate yet more corruption. In this instance, the Biden family receiving millions of dollars from communist China government officials. Just Minutes ago, I tried to share that story on Twitter. And Twitter is actively blocking, right now this instant, stories from the New York Post alleging corruption and the Biden fa family receiving millions of dollars from communist China. This is election interference, and we are 19 days out from an election. It has no precedent in the history of democracy. The Senate Judiciary Committee wants to know what the hell is going on. Chairman Lindsey Graham and I have discussed this at length, and the committee today will be noticing a markup on Tuesday to issue a subpoena to Jack Dorsey, the CEO of Twitter, to testify before the Senate Judiciary Committee next Friday to come before this committee and the American people and explain why Twitter is abusing their corporate power to silence the press and to cover up allegations of corruption. And let me be clear, I don't know if these New York Post stories are true or not. Those are questions Vice President Biden should answer. But Twitter and Facebook and big tech billionaires don't get to censor political speech and actively interfere in the election. That's what they're doing right now. And so on Tuesday, the Judiciary Committee, the full committee, will be voting on subpoenas to subpoena Jack Dorsey to come before our committee. Can I ask a technical question on that? Can the Democrats delay that subpoena release or can they? The Democrats can certainly raise procedural objections. They can try to delay the subpoena. I don't believe they, they will be successful. We are 19 days out for an, from an election, so if the Democrats were to try to play procedural games to delay the subpoena until after the election, that would be obvious and, and transparently political. Chairman Graham. Thank you. Uh, you know, 2020 can't get any stranger. So <laughs> they're 19 days out from an election. Again, I don't know if the New York Post article is true. Uh, I think it is established that Hunter Biden, while he was visiting China with the vice president, uh, received money from a Chinese bank for investment. I don't know <clears throat> much more about it, but I do know this, that uh, a lot of uh, information, the Steele dossier, was all over the place. They never blocked that. All the allegations about Russian collusion and Trump and every other idea that Trump may have done something bad, nobody blocked that. So if what we're going to do is we're going to finally have an accounting that's long overdue. These social media platforms have a dominance in our lives. There are newspapers, uh, there are TV stations, there are radio stations, there are publishers. And this, to me, crystallizes the problem better than anything I could think of for the American people. You may be a Democrat uh, saying, I don't want to hear the New York Post. It could be you tomorrow. So the point is that the power behind these platforms have been taken to a level that truly is dangerous, I think. The stopping Americans who have these tools available to them 
from exercising their ability to share information with their friends. Nobody in Twitter and social media shut down anything about Trump and Russia. So we're going to proceed Tuesday. Hopefully the Democrats on the committee will be as interested in this uh, as we are because it's us today, it could be them tomorrow. Thank you. I just I want to say that uh, obviously I agree wholeheartedly with the chairman, Senator Cruz. I think taking this action is absolutely necessary. Last night, the subcommittee, my subcommittee on crime and terrorism, invited both Jack Dorsey and Mark Zuckerberg to come and testify. I think a subpoena from the Judiciary Committee is absolutely appropriate and in order. It is absolutely vital. We believe in a free press in this country. We also believe in free elections and the attempt to rig an election, which is what we are seeing here by monopolies, is unprecedented in American history. They have a lot to answer for, and I hope that we'll subpoena both Twitter and Facebook. They should both come. They're both engaged in censorship. They're both massive monopolies. They should answer to the Judiciary Committee. They should answer for the, to the full Senate. They should answer to the American people. And that's what this is about. And I look forward to taking this vote and hearing their testimony to the committee.